What is going on everyone? My name is Jeff and I just got done watching financial education's video about this very subject. I guess the real takeaway from Jeremy's video was that everybody makes mistakes and everybody makes investments that fail. I think there's a couple lessons that maybe even I can throw in here to you all is that is why when I have a really, really big gain on a stock, I use stop limit orders, okay? So I can protect, you know, at least 20 or 25 or even 50% of my gain on a stock. And if that price gets met, then I'm going to sell and we can look to re-enter that stock again in the future someday. You know, Warren Buffett is reputably probably the best investor of all time. There's really nobody that even gets talked about nearly as much as Warren Buffett when it comes to investing. And one of his big holdings got absolutely thrashed today. Berkshire Hathaway's investment in Kraft Heinz sank to $12.9 billion from about $15.7 billion after Thursday's close as the food manufacturer released disappointing quarter four earnings and said it received a subpoena from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission last year. Now, knock on wood, guys, I have never been a big investor in consumer staples, just not quite the kind of stocks I like to have in my portfolio. Now, I do have several ETFs that are consumer staple oriented. You know, back usually when I first start building a portfolio, I'm going to get some real safe stuff in there and then start taking more aggression as I build it out further and further. But I usually start, you know, with safer positions. Um, but first, let's go over what happened to this stock today and kind of talk about maybe where this stock does become attractive and possibly a buy. So this all pretty much started yesterday when results of their earnings report come in. Of course, I was all over Roku. I was not watching this one very closely. And I didn't realize this even happened till late last night. But Kraft Heinz missed... Uh, their quarter four non-gap EPS of 84 cents missed by 10 cents. And then their revenue of $6.89 billion missed by $50 million. Now, if you want to know my opinion, that's not a very big miss, okay? You know, yes, it's obviously it is a miss. Um, but when you're asked to bring almost $7 billion to the table and you're $50 million short, I can forgive that, okay? I can forgive that and get past that. But it was really the forward guidance uh, that was not looking good for Kraft Heinz. And we're going to get more into that here in just a second. And then this also had a big factor in it, guys. Kraft Heinz declared a $0.40 cent per share quarterly dividend. That's a 36% decrease. Um, from what they used to pay at 63 cents. So now the forward yield is 3.32%. And of course, value investors all over the place pretty much lost their mind when they heard news of this. I know if I was a Kraft Heinz shareholder, this would probably be the worst news right here is that the dividend is getting cut. That is never, ever, ever a good thing. And just hang with me, guys. It just keeps getting better, okay? The reason, I would say the big reason the stock dropped off so hard is because of the SEC probe and the $15.4 billion in quarter four write-downs. And so news came out that they received an SEC subpoena as part of an investigation into the company's accounting policies. So let's just touch on some of these bigger points here. You know, Kraft Heinz says it recorded a 25 million increase to cost of products sold as a result of an internal investigation with the help of an outside lawyer. Then much of a uh, Kraft Heinz unadjusted quarter four loss was due to the impairment charges to lower the carrying amount of goodwill in certain reporting units primarily U.S. refrigerated and Canada retail and certain intangible assets, primarily the Kraft and Oscar Mayer trademarks. The write down of the big brands is a striking acknowledgement that changing consumer tastes have destroyed the value of some of the company's key assets. And that was reported by Bloomberg. So it looks to me, guys, like they were trying to keep this covered up. It does not look good when the SEC comes in and starts looking around because now not only is your company stock and your market cap value in big trouble, but now you are gonna be facing legal troubles as well. So this is a really, really bad stink and a bad look on Kraft Heinz right now. And the downgrades, they come in like crazy today. Guys, look over here to the notable downgrades that just took place today. Barclays went from overweight to equal weight. Stifle Nicholas downgraded it from a buy to a hold. UBS downgraded it from a buy to neutral. JP Morgan Chase downgraded it from overweight to neutral. And Piper Jeffrey 
downgrade it from overweight to neutral, okay? In one day, they took five downgrades by five huge, you know, investing firms. Again, that also played a big role in the stock losing so much value today. And I just want to kind of throw this out here. This article caught my eye and I wanted to share it with you all. And uh, let's go down to the comment section and uh, let's get some opinions about it. See what you think. But um, analyst shock at Kraft Heinz News. Will the Oracle buy the dip? So guys, tell me, do you think Warren Buffett is going to come in and buy this big dip? Or do you think he is just going to eat the loss? And move on is he going to hold the stock right now in my opinion with this big huge sec investigation going on and all the uncertainty i think you would be crazy to buy the dip but that's my opinion okay so craft times come together and become one company in 2015 so we really don't have a heck of a lot of data to go off of from a chart standpoint i remember uh jim kramer pushing this stock Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Buy Kraft Heinz, buy Kraft Heinz. It's a buy, buy, buy. And he's dinging his little bell and playing with all his whistles. And, uh, you know, I don't think Kramer called this one very good because it has been an absolute disaster literally since day one. If you want to go back to when it got listed on the exchange, that would be July 6th of 2015, guys. And uh, the first year, actually, it did trade up pretty good. You can see it come out of the 80s. Then in 2017, it looks like it got into the 96 level, close to 100. And then, oh my gosh, the roller coaster started going down a little bit. And uh, here we are three years later, I guess about two and a half years later, guys. And it is at a 50% discount from when it first came onto the stock market. And uh, the thing is, guys, I'm still not interested in buying this. Like I said, the shorts have come in and jumped on this thing. They're trying to use momentum just to make a quick buck. It's an obvious short. Where is Kraft Heinz gonna see a bounce? I'm not really sure. That would actually, to me, be a better place to short. If we saw a strong bounce back, if we saw a bounce back to 40 or 45, something like that, that would be a good place to hit him with a short. But right here at $35, we're just going to have to kind of see what happens next week. But right now, guys, all the big powers to be are pushing this stock down. They're selling their shares or they're shorting it very, very heavily. Now, I'm going to share these profitability and management effectiveness numbers with you guys. I do not know if these are updated through the most current earnings report or not. But this company still does have quite a bit of value, guys. If you look here... You know, it has a 40% profit margin, 25% operating margin. They get about a 3% return on assets and about a 16% return on equity. Now, their balance sheet, guys, their balance sheet is where they might be in trouble a little bit. Because if you look right here, $1.37 billion of total cash compared to $32 billion of total debt. Now, that really might weigh hard on them, especially while they have this looming SEC investigation going on. And their stock has been cut in half from three and a half years ago. But I still think there is quite a bit of value in this stock. So it hit its 52 week low guys and it kept making new 52 week lows today. So where does this stock become a buy? Like I said, first things first, I want this SEC investigation to pass before I enter a position in it. Simply because that is going to cast a rain cloud over this company until this has been resolved and the company is moving forward again. You know, this could be a much, much bigger story than any of us realize, or it could be a little bit of nothing and a slap on the wrist and we can move on from it. Nobody knows that right now. It is still so early in the stages. I think this stock is going to see $30 pretty soon, and I still don't know if that is where I feel comfortable going long on it, okay? I think you could probably make a nice day trade or swing trade. You'll probably have plenty of opportunities to do that on Kraft Heinz, but I am not taking a position until the SEC investigation has passed and we're moving in an all new direction. So I'm going to keep it on my watch list. If I see $30, I might drop a little bit of money in it, but I very, very little, okay? Like maybe a couple of shares, maybe four or five shares, something like that. Not gonna put a lot of money in this position. And I'm also kind of doing that with the knowledge that it could go down even further. But I'm gonna keep it on my watch list. This is a very interesting and compelling story. Go down to the comments. Tell me where you think Kraft Heinz becomes a buy at. Thank you so much for watching the video and have an awesome day.